So what is an argument after all? I realize that on this channel I've made a big long playlist of things that aren't arguments, uh, non-arguments, but I haven't taken the time to just explicitly define what an argument is, so I'd like to take a minute to do that. Keep in mind, I work from the uh, philosophy tradition, so my definition is a philosophical definition. And I'm going to use a really broad definition that I think applies to pretty much everything, which is an argument is a claim plus something that backs that claim up, some sort of evidence or reasoning that makes that claim true. That's the big broad version of, of how I can define that because to me, uh, that includes not just your standard deductive logical arguments uh, that you may have learned in your philosophy class, but it also includes inductive reasoning. It also includes critical reasoning. So criticisms of art, things like that, you can make a proper criticism is basically in the form of an argument. Um, now, if you dig into the, uh, the classical deductive reasoning sort of argument. Um, what you have is a conclusion that is brought about by or inferred from uh, one or more premises, usually two or more premises. So I'll just give you an example. Um, dogs have fur. There's premise number one. Uh, premise number two, honey bun is a dog. And then you have conclusion, honey bun has fur. So honey bun is a dog, dogs have fur, therefore honey bun has fur. You have an inference from two sets of um, premises. And the way that you would proceed with a philosophical debate or philosophical discussion is you would test the truth of either the inference uh, and the conclusion, or you would test the truth of um, of the premises. So if you can disprove them in the premises, so, you know, honey bun is a dog, dogs have fur. We go to the second premises. Well, here's a dog that does not have fur. Therefore, you cannot deduce, you cannot say for sure that honey bun has fur because not all dogs have fur. So that, that eliminates the conclusion, right? Uh, now, if you had something that's like, uh, this is an example of a bad deductive argument. You have all dogs have fur. Let's say that that premise is true. Honey bun has fur, therefore she's a dog. Now, the reason that that's not a good argument, you know because other things that aren't dogs have fur. So the proper premise to make that true be only dogs have fur. Honey bun is a dog, therefore she has fur. But even then it's like, well, only dogs have fur, but other dogs that don't have fur, right? So the testing the premises and seeing how that relates to the conclusion, that's the way you usually proceed with a philosophical argument. Why do people tend to avoid these sorts of arguments? Well, they avoid these sorts of arguments because they're wrong, right? Because they, they don't have a response to a claim. Um, so non-arguments, this long playlist of non-arguments is really about being able to identify when someone's avoiding interacting with a claim or avoiding interacting with any sort of logic with, um, with a particular argument and instead trying to convince somebody using rhetoric and sophistry in rhetoric um, of their position. Remember the goal of philosophy is to determine truth and if you proceed through that sort of set of debates, testing all the premises, the goal is to figure out what's actually true and what's not true. But the goal of sophistry is just to convince somebody that uh, they should believe a certain perspective or support something. Sophistry is very effective. That's why people use it. So that's part of why I make the playlist is try to arm people against sophistry. Now, uh, I, I go back to my claim. Let me, um, you know, go back to my little definition, claim plus evidence. That also works for criticism if I make a, a critical statement. Uh, Force Awakens is an unoriginal piece of garbage because it copies uh, Star Wars 1977 beat for beat. So I've given a critical statement. I have some opinion and then I've backed that opinion up. Um, and if I were to break it down into like its nice little logical deductive order, it would be movies are original when they um, don't copy other movies plot points. And Star Wars Force Awakens copies all the plot points of another Star Wars movie. Therefore, it is not original, right? So I could still break it down into those sorts of premises that yield a conclusion. Um, and so if something doesn't fit that particular mold, whether it's a critical statement or whether it's um, something to do in politics, uh, it should it should be recognized and called out. Part of this is armoring yourself. Part of that is being able to inform other people that you know an argument hasn't been made. Um, so anyway, thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think down below of my particular little why definition claim plus evidence equals argument. And uh, let me know about some of the non-arguments that you encounter. I love expanding that playlist. There's so many to talk about, uh, and I'm sure I will have more to talk about before uh, the election comes around uh, because, man, it's a, it's a sophistry fest out there. So 
Have a good one, and I will see you next time.